What's poppin' everybody? My spirits are still low. It is 3.20 a.m. And I'm still pissed off pissed off about this Lions game, how them refs cheated us. But I still was able to cook up you guys some good stuff with that. With Saturday slate, we end up go- losing 0. .6 units because I don't want to bet no units on this game. So we only lost $60, depending on how you did your unit size. I believe we needed... One reception from, one more reception from Pollard and one yard from Pollard to hit a bet, a good one. And we needed, I believe, two receptions from Gibbs. So, and a touchdown, that would have hit both parlays. That would have been completely crazy. It was great, great plays, but, you know, that type of game. Low scoring, no running really, a lot of passing. But year to date, when you look at... All of our bets. We went nuts on Thursday night football. We hit 7.4 units as a $100 better. That's $740. Just added in Saturday, 0.6. But if you look at it, we are well over 120 units for the year. So that is $12,000. So if you literally started from the beginning and did every single bet as a $100 better, the way I show show you would have been up twelve thousand dollars so your boy been cooking that fire i have to talk about the patreon because we're changing some things in 2024 we have our hall of fame where you guys get access to all my bets you get my slips because we got a lot of bets so you want to be able to just plug and play get grandfathered in you got one more day to get grandfathered in it is the last day after that tomorrow is going to be up to $25 so if we look at it you have the free version make sure you're on a free version because I send out free plays all the time so make sure you're on that got the one you get grandfathered in then you got $25 they give you access to 100% everything the Facebook group that even give you access to our chat where you guys can see different type of bet communities where you got thousands of people talking about NBA bets you got different cappers giving out bets non-stop so it's wild it's wild but it's definitely good so for my Hall of Fame members you need to watch this video to know what's going on with today's bets to get a understanding of what's popping where my mind is at how it's going so I didn't do no official units we are using my chart as a guideline for multiple bets unless i gave you guys a price amount we are using this chart so if you see a bet that's plus 225 through 499 you're doing it as this if you see it plus 500 you're doing it as 20 point a uh, quarter of a unit so you use the chart whenever you don't know how much to bet now for the people that ask Lando, I just want units. All the crazy stuff, I don't want any of it. You just want units. This is what we got. We got six technically unit plays I like. I like Cooks over on rushing yards. Mike Evans over on receptions. Higby over on receptions. Patrick Mahomes over on rushing. Baker Mayfield over on passing touchdowns. And Puka Nachua over on on yards i'm not gonna waste y'all time talking about the math and analytics of why these are the six ones i like the way i did the first one is like a prize pick type of swag a little bit but more of round robin just being able to hedge a little bit so i started by threes ten dollars in a ten dollar parlay total of fifty dollars you can do that fifty percent less 90% 90% less depending on however your financial situation is. But when I calculate units, it's going to look like this. This is $50 bet to win three, 21 like these. Do this according to the chart. Now, with today, I kind of just went with the flow. I'm like, all right, let me just go with the flow. See what I'm like and see, see what's going on. And it's a lot of games. A lot of games that I absolutely like. We have some games to make the most money. I believe it is the Tampa Bay versus the Saints. That's the game you can completely turn $10 to 1000 I didn't do a slip for it. Probably will later. But that's the game where you can manipulate the books and 
go hard. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let's get right into it. So I did a bunch of same game parlays. That's good quality bets that I like. So this one, we did the Dolphins versus the Ravens. See what I have right here. You can screenshot it. You can do whatever it is. If you are a member, you get access to these slips. So it's usually each one. You just copy that thing on and all of those go right into your FanDuel account. First one plus 288. Like it. And I didn't add any touchdowns on any such as a player getting touchdowns because I have that completely separated today. Next one, 49ers versus Commanders. I only did 49ers players because I never watched the Commanders. Hey, they're probably going to get blown the hell out, so we're not even going to mess with that. This is a plus 1,000 like this one. Now, I did do it. I take it back. You can take McCaffrey off because I didn't fully need him on here. But I do like a half time, a half, first half touchdown score. You know, it's like doing him for a regular touchdown. Them odds are so bad. Get him to do it in the first half. Majority of the time, he get it in the first half with no problem. But I like that for plus 1,000. Next, we got the England, New England Patriots versus the Bills. Did this strategically. Like all of these, we actually added some Patriot players. This is a plus 394. Saints versus Tampa Bay, plus 463. Baker, touchdown. Everybody else, you see what we have. Love this slate right here. Saquon Barkley. This is the Rams versus the Giants. This could be a great game for the Rams. I definitely see it being one plus 230. Make sure you lock that in. Bengals versus the Chiefs. Rice, Rice, Mo Rice, and Mixon plus 111. Teams I like to win instead of just that. I'm like, I like a lot of spreads being covered. Bills versus the Patriots. They're done for us end of the year. 14, cover that. Rams, going to cover this probably easy if you ask me. San, San Fran to cover. Jaguar, um, Jaguars to cover. Eagles to cover. Chargers with the upset or to just cover. Packers upset or just cover. So I really just only have two upsets right here. You can do, I think, I believe I did that for a $10 bet right here. I like it. Actually, yep, that's exactly how I did it. I round robin it. So I did it by fives just in case we missed two of them. Want to still get paid? Do it, did it by six for a dollar. And I did a $12 parlay. So this was a total $40 play for me. So instead of me just doing so many unit plays, I'm like, let me do a lot of plays like this for $40 win 1900. But main thing is we at least need five of these to hit to get in the money. Touchdowns. Everybody want to know. Oh, I mean, you know, I'm tired. I'm over here. Yarn. I'm sorry. It's 331. All right. So with touchdowns, Tyreek Hill, he owes one. Josh Allen, y'all know what Josh Allen going to do. Williams been going nuts. CMC, Hurts. Mike Evans and Rice. I like that play. And this is how I did it. It's the same way. Bam, 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 $40. So you see those are very similar. Next, another touchdown play. This is the exact same thing. Just on DraftKings because DraftKings uh fan dude didn't have most short in there. So this is just the same thing as this, just different players. Debo, James, Taylor, White. Henry and Reed. And I did this by this one, two, three, four, five, six. I did by fours for a dollar. I did it by fives for a dollar. And I did a nine dollar parlay. I believe it was a thirty dollar play in total. This is parlay insurance play that they given us for $20. And I just said no sweat because I couldn't screenshot it all in there. I like to minimize my screenshots as much as I can. But on my phone, it don't show the full thing. So I did this for $20 to so win like $10,000. We got Debo, two touchdowns. And you want to do the crazy ones for 
to parlay insurance because if three of them hit and one don't, you get your $20 back. So we're doing Debo two touchdowns, Taylor two, Allen two, Hurts two. We know both of them. As long as they get within the five, it's damn near automatic touchdown at this point. These two we shall see. And since I did two touchdowns, let's do it with the other players. Heo, Henry, CMC, and Mike Evans. I didn't round robin this one. This didn't feel like it. You can if you want to. But I left it like that. See if we can go hard. And this is a play that I really don't understand. I can't even hold y'all up. This is weird. So I did it the way I believe it worked. Like it's in... You need to do $50 in total, three leg, same leg, same, same leg game parlays. Got to be over plus 400. I really don't get this, but, you know, I did how I believe so. So I took the games that I did like. So I did this one and added Gus Edwards to make this over a plus 404 and did it for $13. I took this one. Which I like made it over 400, 471, did it for $13. Took this one that I like, did this for $13, and did this one that I like and did it for $13. And I parlayed that thing all in one for like, you know, whatever, because it's hard to hit. And it qualified, it showed me I did $50. You know, if you did 13 each, you would get over your 15 or your $50, you can do whatever calculations you like to be able to do it. That's how I did it. We'll see how that turned out and how that worked. Now, I like everybody been talking about that play. My man did a zillion touchdowns, $5, went like 500000 It was crazy. So, last week, a lot of people up won some crazy money. I believe everybody I had for a touchdown hit but one person. So, people was just parlaying them and switching up and it worked like hell so i took majority of players that i did gus edwards tyreek hill cmc debo taylor williams adams henry hertz smith and i forget to add what's his name um reed but we have white evans and a rice five dollars for nine thousand, wow, that would be crazy. I didn't do any round robins. It's just like our lotto. This is our lotto play. So once again, use the chart. If you get confused, these are our unit plays. Basically, I didn't do them as units, but if you want to do units, these are the six plays that I like. After that, this is just same game parlays that I like. That's good quality value without having touchdowns in there. Besides MC. And we get touched to people for touchdowns. You can add those if you want. Leaving it just like that. This is our money line, but I took spread. And you got to think when I'm up as high as I am for the season, is playing with houses money so you get to be more aggressive whenever it is. So let me get some sleep. Be ready for tomorrow. If anything changes, I will post it in the Patreon, such as adding any extra plays. Let's win. Let's dominate.